September 22nd is the autumnal or fall equinox. Simply put, the equinox means parts of the globe receive nearly equal amounts of day and night. The seasons and weather change, and even the stars shine differently. The dog days of summer are behind us, and pagan traditions of harvest time ahead. A chill begins to creep into the air, and the palette swap from vibrant greenery to brilliant yellow, orange, reds, and browns. Even the scents in the air begin to change, perfumed with marigolds. Now we gather, don our masks, and hand out such chocolate and candy. In times of yore, when trick-or-treaters were more plentiful, we even gave those tiny cans of tree-top apple juice, or Capri Sun juice packs. These days may come again. The neighborhood teems with new life, beginnings, futures bright and dim alike. Cast your gaze to the starry sky as we approach October 12th, the great comet of the century, Su Chin Shan Atlas, will make itself visible to the naked eye. Su Chin Shan Atlas presents the chance to wish upon a real shooting star, the cosmic stuff of myth and legend. The sun reaching the peak of its cycle combined with geomagnetic storms has made the seasonal aurora borealis visible as far as Mississippi, Texas, Arizona, and Southern California. At this time of year, at this time of day, localized entirely in my kitchen, and no, you cannot see it. The last great feast before winter of Thanksgiving, when friends and family gather near to share company and celebrate the fruits of their labor, to give thanks and to break bread. What crops flourish in the fall and winter are planted to supplement the food stores in the hard times to come. Take time this fall to reflect, but refrain from beating yourself up too much. Mirrors are fragile, after all, and broken glass cuts like a mother lover.